tuned in to www.oghuskyradio.com. Broadcasting live from the east side of Los Angeles worldwide. Always got special guests. Tonight, no exception. Go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick. Let them know who we got. Well, I'm Prime K2S. Big Sleep, K2S. What's good, man? How you guys doing tonight, man? Oh, we're good, man. We're good. Real good. Once again, we got, let them know what you guys got going on this Saturday, man. First things first, man. Right. Oh, first things first, we got a show going on right here at the Plaza de la Raza. And um, it's going to be from the 1st of September going on to the 29th. And um, the artists are going to be, which is Prime from K2S and Big Sleeve from K2S. And then we have um, other artists as Chaz Wajorquist, Alex Defer Kizu, um, Gajin Fujita, Esteban Orian, those... Heriberto Orial and um, Jaime Jaime Jerns, right? Zacarias, Zacarias, yeah. right? Thanks. <laughs> Miguel Tripas, and Miguel Tripas Felipe. and Felipe and Martin Buck, Doherty, 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 and That's Retina, and also in addition yeah. Retina. Oh wow, Retina, dog. Retina, wow, sure. man. Yeah, he's the well, let, last let, edition. Let's just break up Barman Barman Gallery and Small Town present Teresa. This is going down down the street right here at Plaza de la Raza Boathouse Gallery which is located at 3540 North Mission. Anyone familiar with the east side? Yes, it's at Lincoln Park. Essentially, it's inside yes, Lincoln Park. And this is actually really, really good to hear. You know what I mean? Like that, that we're actually giving something back. You know what I mean? Like that close and, and in a facility like that, Plaza de la Raza is like real, real, real famous for, you know, the yep, dancing yep. and all the culture that comes out of there. And, and with that... Yeah. I mean, representing the culture is the hand styles. You know, this is a, a art show indicative of, of just hand styles. You know, let, let's get into really, that. Really. Like, pretty much it's lettering, right? Pretty much. A lot of it has to do with yeah. lettering, of course. Yeah. And Most, uh, of, most of the artists uh, that are, well, uh, speaking for me, uh, all my boards are lettering based, all 13 of them. The canvases that I have up for sale are all lettering based. Um, Defer's boards are all lettering based. Primes are a little mixture, right, of yeah. lettering and, uh, and art. Uh, Gajin as well has uh, lettering and some art in his. I mean, he doesn't have boards. He has a piece up, but yeah. it's, it, everybody has lettering in there, you know, and I think it's the lineup itself is, like, one of the best lineups ever as far as artists go, like Chaz, Retina, Defer, Prime, all under one roof, you know. So and and, and why, why, Trece, why is it? Why are we using the, the, the Trece to name the show? <laughs> the 13, I, I don't know uh, how it evolved, uh, who picked the number of the boards. Yeah. But it's really just 13 boards by 13 different artists. So 13 hand-painted boards. It has no gangs. You know why. None of that. You know <laughs> Yeah. It's a cool number, dog. You yeah, know, yeah, so. definitely. 13 cool. decks, 13 artists. And yeah. uh, you guys are telling me off the air, too, these are affordable decks. Like, don't come down, right, like, man. thinking, like, you know, 10,000 or something. Like, we yeah. have no, we have art for, a, like, 450 while well yeah. within, like, reach. You know what I mean? For yeah. They're all going at $400, bro. Okay. So it's affordable, I mean, well, to most people. But yeah. But you'll have uh, an original piece. Yeah, yeah. have an original piece by some of these guys. They never sell stuff, but nowhere in that range. So Homeboy thought it'd be cool to make it affordable so where people have access to that uh, same group of artists at an affordable play, uh, price, you know? Well, well, let's get into the lettering. What, what is the, where does the lettering come from? Where is the style that, that you guys are, are prominent in, you know what I mean? All right. The lettering sort of um, basically comes from my childhood, from growing up in the hoods, you know, like Pico Union, Boyle Heights, and... Uh, um, Los like Angeles, night, you know. let's just put it Angeles, out there like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Any, and that's the only place you can find this form of writing, you know? Not any other place in the world. And um, it's, it's developed here. Why? In, in, uh, in a form of, I guess, you know, but in a negative way, I mean, because it was like uh, to announce your gangs, your hood, and stuff like that. But we've taken it to a place where it's, um, it's, it's more of a, we're going to use it as our stepping stone, you know, to, to you know, further our careers in art. You know? and, and let's just get into that. Even just as a stepping stone, yeah. I mean, with your South Sleep, a tattoo artist, you know, you, yeah. you were telling me off there, and I wanted to get some of those stories. Like, because of your hand styles uh, of this L.A. barrio, ghetto, whatever you want to put, this L.A. lifestyle that, like, you grew up in that at the time we didn't even really see. It was just, yeah, you yeah. know. But it was so imposed on us that we don't even see it as anything out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Out there. But where some of the places that has taken you so you could let people know, like, um, how we made the negative to a positive. It's, it's really uh, something I never expected. Uh, 
seen any positive in it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. something I love doing. I, it was obviously for negative reasons, you know, yeah. or just to hit up on walls and, and, and mark my territory and all that. And then came the, the tattooing and all that. And somehow it just evolved into, like, people start recognizing it as a form of art. I mean, I've always looked at it as art. Yeah. But now, so it's been, it's been able to help me, like, transition into, like, holding it down as a, as a full-time career now. You know what I mean? I do lettering. I put out a couple lettering books for tattoo artists to reference from. Uh, it's taken me around the United States in a short period of time. And then now around the, well, not around the world, but I've gone to Europe, Germany, Copenhagen, uh, different places, man. And, and, and when and you're I out there, they're, they're asking for this yeah. alley style yeah. of, well, we would call hand styles because yeah. you know what I mean? Like shit that you see in alleys, bro, that we would yeah. see, like, like I was telling you earlier, it's real common to us to see these hand styles and you're like oh you know that you just you're so accustomed to it growing up that you just walk by it it's like an everyday thing so it doesn't stand out to you like it would to somebody else that's never seen that type of writing you know so i've started tattooing it around the world now and uh it's like i said it's turned into a full-time career man i've been uh blessed enough to like make money at it um I think I'm influencing people in a positive way with it now. You know what I mean? Letters to live by dot com. Letters to live by dot com. You could keep up with the travels, the tattoo, um, pretty much everything you got going on. Right. Yeah, I got a full blog on there. If you want to spend some money and, uh, you know, pick up some game on lettering. I got three books for sale on there. T -shirts, well, I wanted to everything. get into that. So, so like the font, I mean, Without dissing nobody, but dissing everyone that tries to do a bad font. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like when you do the font and you just is it I was asking you, like I said, off there, everything we we're talking about off there. But like, it's like, don't you want to keep that font like that? Because people are going to take it and, and run with it. And, and you know what I mean? Say that it's theirs or they're going to take it anyway. You know? <laughs> it, it's kind of I mean, I didn't invent gang writing or, or yeah. that style. Right. I mean, I was influenced by seeing different letter forms throughout L.A. or whatever. So. I flipped them my way, and I just, you know what? At a point in my life, I just put them out there, like, just said, hey, let me just show people what I could do, you know? And it, 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 honestly, it turned into something real good for me, man. It, yeah. it gave me a lot of recognition real quick, which I feel happy that that, you know, like, kept me from, like, uh, straying away and doing negative shit now. Let, let them know the names of the books that, that you've put out and where they could get them at. Um, they're available on my website. It's Letters to Live By, Volume 1 and 2, and then Neighborhood Offerings, which is a collab between me and Prime. Yeah, and then they'll be available this uh, Saturday at Plaza de la Raza at, well, uh, as yeah. well. So you guys could go through. I believe they have a gift shop there, and you guys could yeah. uh, purchase the art and purchase um, books and all the stuff that they have to offer. How about clothing lines? You guys, I know you've designed a lot and done a lot of logos. Do you still do custom logos? Is that like in the portfolio yeah. still, or is it just straight tatting? Uh, you know what? It's a little bit of everything, man. Like, I try to stay occupied and collab here with Prime a little bit or the homie Def or whoever yeah. but I mean I recently you know was fortunate to collab with OG Abel on something yeah. um, I've done stuff with well the homie Jack and, and Duke and Cynic for years back I've done stuff with them uh, Slick and this is it Yeah, bunch of people man and, and like I said there's no limits to that man like you know if you if you focus on one thing like that you could take it to that level man you just gotta dedicate that, that time and effort man you know and What's look where it's gotten us, man. We came from nothing. I mean, I mean we're still not, like, rich or nothing, yeah. but... We're Honestly, on some yeah. real shit, I'm, and I'm saying this, to live in L.A., we're alive. Yeah, and that, yeah, I mean, for the era that, that right. we come from is, like, a big accomplishment. I, I don't yeah, mean to sugarcoat anything, you know what I mean? And, and then, yeah. you know, to have successful careers on what you grew up doing is definitely, like, a good thing. So, yep. yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. you know? When I, uh, I first showed my homie uh, a picture, I mean, I'm still was, like really surprised that I never thought I'd travel to Europe or anything, but from one day I was like in school and I ended up going to London to tattoo and my homeboy, I showed him the picture and he's like, man, you photoshopped that shit sick, dog. You know I mean? <laughs> he's still, he's like, come on, dog, how the fuck? Because it's something that you don't yeah. think about, you know what I mean? And the homie's like, oh man, you, you're good, dog. But then I'm like, serious? Yeah, even there, I mean, you know, that I'm like, You fuck. just never saw it further than the, than the bars, you know, like, yeah. or, or just, uh, just your, your back window, you know, or anything. You just didn't think of like Copenhagen or stuff like that, you know what I mean? I'm even still in not Hawaii, bro. We were in Hawaii a couple of weeks ago, man. I went out to the tattoo convention. Me and Prime went out with Norm. I don't know if you guys remember yeah, yeah. Norm. Big, big time dude big in the tattoo guy, yeah. game and the graph world. We were out there painting some sick ass blocks, bro. You That's know what I mean? Crazy. And then 
out sunbathing a few hours later, and I was like, look which, where this brought us. I'm like, yeah. I just went out there to do nothing but lettering. That's it. Nothing else. So I cool. tattooed lettering, wrote on walls. Like, well, it wasn't legal, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Between us, we, we killed it, though, you know? And Prime painted man. with the homie Slick out there, and... And it's been good, man. It's been real good, dog. Barman Gallery and Smog Town present Trece taking place this Saturday, September 1st. Uh, reception is from 6 to 10 p.m. at Plaza de Arrasa's Boathouse Gallery. That's 3540 North Mission Road in the beautiful 90032. Because we're still on 90032, so, you know, I, I got to put it out there and shit. Yes, sir. Oh, come down. Like block, <laughs> yeah, right? it's right down the street, man. I oh. think this is a real, like, just from... Like, for me, it's an honor to be under the same roof showing anything with, with Chaz and Redna. Yeah. God, Gene is a top dog in, in the art in the art world. And the Prime and Death, for to me, they're like, you know what I mean? Like icons and shit. You know, they're influences for me. So people might not want to miss this, man, you know? Yeah. And, and with that, Prime, man, a, a lot of LA history, man. Um, We're talking off the air, man, about this little thing that had a huge impact. And you're telling me your story is like about the Radio Tron, man. And, 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 and you're... you're uh, you know what I mean? Right, Your right, experiences right. with that. Let, let's get into a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Like, but shoot, let's see what we got. <laughs> how, how'd you How'd you get introduced to Radio Tron and Carmelo, man? Like, get that little story. Oh, all right, so, um, um, I was about I guess twelve or eleven around there, and um, I was painting in an alley, right? And um, he stopped by, and uh, and I started running, basically from him because I thought he was some sort of vigilante or you know a cop or something. And um, when I turned back, you know, I just sort of saw that. Uh, you know, he was just trying to get my attention and tell me that he had a center, you know, called the Radiotron. He, he actually didn't call it the Radiotron, he called it a youth center. And um, that it would open during the day for people to come by and, uh, you know, just uh, collaborate with uh, with other dancers that, that were doing like break dancing and, um, you know, painting graffiti or just being exposed to the visual arts and uh, the dancing and all that and rap. And, and at this time, I mean, the whole hip hop scene was I'm gonna say they just rare. I mean, it just it beginning, yeah. you know, from coming from like the East Coast and stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, what happens is, I mean, it, there wasn't that many people, you know, maybe one, two, three, four people, but it was it was growing, you know. And, and from there, it um it, it didn't last very long, you know. But it, what it what it did do it, it um you know it brought a lot of good people together, and it, and to this day I'm still good friends with the Carmelo, and he yeah. started up like several other radio trons, you know, the same sort of idea with working was, with kids and stuff. That was one of the positive places yeah. I remember going yeah. oh, to break dance. And there's not there's not many of them, you know. Not, yeah. It's it's kind of rare to see them, uh, whereas they're they're open to you to to with. give yeah. you uh you know uh, the experience way. or the. Uh, the the opportunity to 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 share the what you're into you know like uh, DJing you know yeah. like uh, the regular school no they want to teach you music but they want to give you like a violin and yeah. you're not into that you know and so it shuts you off you know and 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 before long it starts shutting everything off and all the kids and, and you know you get distracted you start moving into like well you know that that's where the, the negative come from because there's there's no even now like we gotta get the kids now and turn them to the positive side of you know what I mean understand that back then we don't even look at it as, as art it was placatos you know what I mean like well, yeah I mean, and we didn't even look at it like yeah. damn they're, they're talented you know but even in the le even in the the lettering style the big blocks to sit there and like not well you know what I'm saying to do that kind of art. We never, never even looked at his art. You know, it's like never right. accepted. Yeah, because nobody sees that. I mean, you what, what, what nobody, sees, nobody sees that you're, you're like uh, up on a ladder and, and um, your you're vulnerable. <laughs> you know, vulnerable. <laughs> yeah. The only place you can do is just run back up to the roof. You know, yeah. when they start shooting you or, or that's it. You know, you're the only one that's going to be right there. You know, everybody else is ducking and whatever. But yeah, keep the mic up so you can, uh, yeah, so you can right. hear you. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, they, they don't realize that the, the blood that goes into it, you know, sometimes. And, so, you know, it might be an eyesore to some people, you know, and, and nowadays you're not going to see it, you know, at all. Yeah, we were talking about you that, know. too. It definitely uh, hasn't, uh, well, it might be because of the loss, too, but yeah. Yeah. You, you don't see it like as it was, you know, maybe yeah. late 80s, early 90s where it was, you know. You're right. saying too, like South Central still kind of has it. Yeah, where, yeah where but rarely. More, more gang graffiti removal programs, and I think they figured out that they needed to eliminate all that writing to tone down some of the violence and shit. Wherever they're yeah, writing, there's yeah. fools crossing out and all that. Right, and you're burning your hood yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, it's several reasons. You know, somebody that's a two striker is not going to go and, and, and get the third strike for just. You when, know, when, like, when, right? and, when and how? 
uh, when and how did, did it get accepted then, dude? You know what I mean? Like, how in the art world, you know what I mean? Like, you're doing galleries, and, and you know what I mean? You're flying all over. I don't know, know if it's gotten totally accepted, you know, yeah, but some people didn't want to touch it. Yeah, yeah, like, some people didn't want to, you know, just touch that, that um, you know, that, uh, that certain... You know aspect of it, you know, yeah. especially because I mean the the violence is behind it, and the, and the the well, several things, you know. I mean, and and because it's gang writing, you don't want to be close to it because if you you don't want what's gonna call and fall back on you, you know. I mean, what's what's gonna come from that? But uh, but definitely good. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I got a one one good thing that my uh, just came to mind right now is a uh, a buddy of ours. He's a collector, Ed Sweeney, and uh, he collects. Pieces from like Defer, uh, Prime, a uh, couple other heads from the crew. A lot of them revolve around lettering and stuff. He recently got our book. Uh, he introduced it to the Getty. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Getty, Getty. Research Institute. Yes. This where scholars go research whatever, like old scrolls or writing from like whatever years, the 1500s, 1400s. So they just they just accepted our book into there and put it into their archives, bro. So I thought that Damn, was good. Damn, that's fucking huge. And, and, and he presented it to them. And there, there's another big project going on with like I think there's over a hundred and something artists that are doing a black book for the Getty. And yeah. this is gonna go into the archives for scholars to research for hundreds of years, bro. Damn. So the lady, he was he was breaking it down to me how he showed her all these pieces and throw ups and all that. But somehow this is an older lady uh like a white lady where maybe you wouldn't expect her to be so interested in a, a book that has really revolves around gangbang style lettering yeah but he said somehow when when she picked up our book she was like locked in on it that she just kept saying this one right here like something about it Damn. so it stood out from everything there because she was kind of blown away by the lettering style you know not that they're the dopest or nothing but there's yeah. Certain strength you know what though stuff, right? as they say symbols have a lot of meaning yeah so that letter being flipped you know yeah. has a lot of meaning if you know what i mean yeah, anybody yeah. growing up in, yeah, in, yeah. in los angeles knows that it, it, it's marking the territory yeah. you know what i mean so yeah to us it had more meaning lot, a lot of meaning willing to die for that mark bro you know so but that was just a big accomplishment man and it led to a bigger project going on with the getty right now they just finished yeah. collecting all the artwork by some of the top dogs in LA, you know? Yeah. And uh, that that's gonna turn into something great. Who knows what other doors might open up or how people might accept our lettering styles even more now that they're like, how these guys get into the Getty, a bunch of gang writing or whatever. Yeah. But we're making people see it as more than just, I mean, you could write gang shit with that lettering, but yeah. you could also do logos with it. Like yeah. I do logos with it, I don't, I don't do gang shit. We're talking about whatever, that because you know? the, 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 the tattoo game is, is, is what has you going right now. You're talking about like you go to Copenhagen to, to put this style of lettering, like yeah. to ink people up. Yeah. And they're not getting it. Like, they're getting sayings and... Yeah, yeah. Like, how... You know what I mean? Like... I, I think the internet has a lot to do with that, yeah. man. Like, me and Prime were talking, and we're like... I think without the existence of the internet and everything's so instant now, like Instagram yeah. and Facebook, and I never even pictured myself using that shit, but now I use it daily yeah. too much, if you ask me. But, <laughs> uh, I think that it, it's allowed people to see things that they otherwise never would have seen or had any exposure to. How would those kids ever know any of this shit exists, you know what I mean? Right. And it's allowing us to cross boundaries that we could never cross. It was just right? something that we did for ourselves, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, like the styles, they, um, they, they basically developed from, you know, just us ourselves, you know, just competing in, in the in the ability to, to write like that. And it nobody else would do it, you know? I mean, yeah. they, like, they just didn't want to touch it. I mean, as far as, like, as graffiti, you know, like East Coast graffiti and this and that, but... You know, when East Coast Graffiti came around, you know, we kind of mixed it with them, you know, and uh, and they, it developed into our own style for, like, Los Angeles, you know. But uh, as for now, like, w we, we see somebody, you know, like, from Nebraska, like I was saying yeah. earlier, you know, doing some, some West Coasting, you know, lowrider font, and, and it just looks booty. Yeah. Well, I mean, nah, man, we're not just going to just sit back and let it go, you know, while some guy starts making some fade off of it, you know? I mean, I'm not, some you know, so right we're just going to try to put a stop to it from now, from the get-go, you know, and if you want something from authentic, original, let's say authentic, yeah, original. That's us, you know, I mean, there's, there's, I, I can't think of anybody apart, you know, from, from us in our circle or downtown LA, I mean, that they can do it, you know, if, um, I like to meet more people. I definitely like to meet more people because I, I'm really interested in, in the styles, you know? The the styles have been lost. Also, there's only a way that you can find them by 
by um by maybe looking at somebody's old apartment you know something yeah. like that somebody that wrote in a, in a in a garage or something or yeah. or or my favorite is cement carvings you know oh, yeah. i find cement carvings and i take pictures of them and i love them yeah. <laughs> you know i crazy, archive man. them yeah. i have a gang of them yeah. you know and 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 then it's not like the ones that say Joe and Linda or something like that, but it's the one that says you know a bird, Florencia, you know, yeah. or it says whatever, you know, and um and they 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 have a powerful, I mean, really powerful, you know, message what they give. I mean, and and it's it's gonna stay there for a while, you know. I mean, De it's definitely a lot a, of art a lifestyle and definitely a culture, although it might not be mainstream and might might not be accepted. But definitely has had its impact. And, and with that, you could see more of Barman Gallery and Smog Town present Trece taking place this Saturday, September 1st to September 29th at the Plaza de la Raza's Boathouse Gallery. That's in Lincoln Park. Anyone familiar with the East Side area? 3540 North Mission Road, uh, Los Angeles, 9 to 32. 13. Now, for this one taking place, it's only your two guys' artwork, right? Right. Okay, it's let's, yeah, because I want to clear that on board. No, board. there's artwork by Chaz, by Red. That'll be this place, too. Yeah. On this yeah. It's our 13 board. boards. Okay. That are going to be released, which will be a Sleepies and I. Okay. Right? So, um, there's other artwork, like you said, you know, um, like Chaz and, and, and recently uh, Retina. But um, it's 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 our turn basically. That's what it is, you know, because they have it. They go by two, two like uh, Chaz and Def. I think I'm not sure. Okay. Oh yeah, so it's it's okay. so if you could, people can understand how this is working. It's two artists displaying the 13 boards, yeah. and right. then eventually, hopefully, what the main plan is to have all these artists together, all the artists we mentioned. Yeah, that's gonna Def, be an upcoming show. It'll be the yeah. full 13 artists with each one of them with their 13 boards showing at a later period, you know, to be announced yeah. later. There it is. And affordable for the for the community, you know. Letters mm -hmm. to live by. Dot com yeah. probably your best bet to how about prime man a any social networking well, going I got on a, there yeah, right? I got a prime k2s.com that's where you know you find a lot of the cement carvings right there what was um, it again Let them prime k2s.com okay and and um yeah you'll find uh, it has like a little blog on there and then i'll put a couple of things that i you know find during the time that like say uh, maybe glass carvings or or like uh, carvings on um, maybe uh, you know that burger stand or something like yes. that. Those, those little tables. And ones. Yeah, I mean I find a lot of like you know billiard, like really good stuff right there. You know nobody else is looking for it, just me. You know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what's up right there. There it is. I want to thank you guys for coming through, man. Any thank shout you, outs man. before we get out, man? No, I mean I just want to say thanks to you guys for having us here, and then uh, just to the public for yeah. whoever's listening, man. Don't miss the show. Come show some love and shit. Come have some go. free beer and food, man. There it is. OG it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a dope show, man. I'm not just saying it. There's gonna be some mariachis there, you know. Yeah. A lot of coverage, whatever, man. Come check it out. There it is. Right on, right on. Just shout to to Vigo who put the yeah, show on together, you know, and everybody who's participating in the show. Uh, shout out to you guys and here at Husky. Gracias, Los Angeles. Everyone, is, um, the support is, you know, greatly appreciated. You know, all there of us is. here. Stay um, tuned for more, Pedro dog. Puma, you know, gracias, you got us a little gig, man. OGSKRadio.com, Raza de la Raza, this Saturday. Make sure you guys support.